Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And today I'm going to introduce you my new custom built one wheel, which I was working for the last couple months secretly, working pretty much on my secret project. And I'm pretty sure it will not be disappointing. Uh, the thing is, I'm riding uh, one wheel already for fourth season. I really love it. I start from my original XR, here's a frame, but heavily modified. Then I got my GT. And uh, I was I was kind of quite happy, but the thing is I'm a big heavy guy and uh, there's no uh, one wheel which really made for heavy guys from Fusion Motion. And uh, especially when Fusion Motion treat me like crap on a warranty repair with my GT, I kind of turn around towards uh, VESC because I recognize the open platform. You can build it wherever your imagination will take you. Only one limit is it, it, it's a wallet. And that's when I converted my XR. Here's my XR frame. Here's the original motor. But I was going to show you this frame. It's got some mats. Uh, plus, if you pay attention already, you probably did recognize it. It has a two Torx box. This was my first prototype. And uh, I built it six months ago. At that time, I was the first guy who built it 18S three-piece uh, configuration XR with uh, 21700 uh, cells uh, size and not increasing thickness of uh, XR itself, I mean, of a chassis, a frame. Uh, there's a, I believe there's a one or two guys which, or, or some company did make it special boxes with like a hump over here and same thing hump on the back, which will, which was able to take more cells. I don't remember what, what's the configuration and what's the wattage. But this configuration, like I said, I was the first and only one who built it 18S three piece with 21700 cells. And this configuration, I mean, still working. I just take it apart to do some modification. The battery wise, uh, since it's using a uh, Molycell P42A, it has a 816 watt power battery capacity. That's a really mind blowing numbers, especially if you compare it to Pine, it's a 180. Pine X and XR 324. GT it's 527. GTS it's 430 watt. Even AD, ADV Pro has only 612 watt, and this one it has 816 watt. Plus, like I said, in original frame, not increasing any bulkiness. The, the weight wise, with uh, super flux, high torque, it was exactly 40 pounds. It's only 3 pounds heavier than GT. With hypercore motor, it's actually 8 ounce, oh, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, 12 ounces lighter than GT. It's 34.4. You can imagine on the XR, which is much better platform, in my opinion, lower center of gravity, better ground clearance, better weight distribution. If you saw my uh, famous weight distribution test video where I show uh, when I used to have my GT, uh, fi it, uh, to bring it flat, you have to place it uh, five uh, cola cans on the front to overweight back. On this platform, it's take, it's take only two uh, cola cans and we'll flat, uh, level it. Uh, it's really amazing, that platform, and I love it because of uh, in this, this way, since uh, original XR is only 324 watt and this package did have 816 it's almost three times more powerful or more more uh, more capacity of battery and like i said already i'm a big heavy guy uh, for me the top speed is not is as important like for some people really want to go 30 miles or so with this uh, board my highest numbers are almost 23, which is really impressive. I mean, on the original XR, I believe it was like 14, 15 top speed or so on the GT. I believe it was a little over 17 mile top speed. You not can push it 
uh, faster than that with do 300 pounds almost pretty much yeah like I said with this VASC uh, control itself already has 1700 mile we're still working flawlessly zero issue and it uh, with this battery configuration it uh, I get like 20 22 mile uh, range if I if I floor it if I'm riding like a like I like I should ride like a old uh, uh, old man it I can get around probably 30 or so and like I already mentioned it I did have GT uh, on the last year GT ha did has very very little attention on a year I put like 100 mile and not and that was not me my friends and kids even kids <laughs> my kids didn't like it ride it uh gt they always prefer to run in vsxr i mean this guy anyway i decided to rivet uh, gt and for that money what i can gain it from gt so let me build it another xr well guys prepare yourself that's a two thousand dollar board and let me show you what kind monster i built it <laughs> this board at this moment it's probably the one board in existence in the whole world over a thousand watt battery capacity it actually to be exact it's a 1084 watt per hour a battery it's a 20s three piece Samsung 50S cell. It's 15 amp. Cap I mean <laughs> battery capacity. It's it's a it's a monster. Plus, if you already did recognize it, maybe not. Let me show you. It has a big gain tire with my super flux high torque, and that's a motor from from this board. Here's the original. Actually, let me bring it like that. Here's the original. GT, I mean, I'm sorry, XR hub with a Thunder tire. And you can see how much different this guy. This is a 11.5 by 7 by 6. Uh, it's almost an inch higher than the Thunder tire. Thunder tire is actually slightly smaller, quarter inch smaller than original Vega or Hooser or uh, uh, what, 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 uh, Buris didn't this one is a Buris as well yeah pretty much uh, like I said but you can see the difference it's huge yeah. I already did pull a joke on on a friend of mine I show him he's he was the first who saw this wheel and <laughs> I mean he know I build it I mean because he he know me I build it everything I build it the go-kart video game handhelds consoles my own style but when I show him a Napa five, ba five bucket fender you know he started laughing he said you know what if you ride it like that people's gonna think you you bought that that wheel from Napa <laughs> just he said if someone asks you just tell them yep I bought from Napa you know that that's what that's what they selling right now <laughs> pretty much this build is actually similar to my first one two Torx box, there's no handle, uh, WTF rail, thanks to Jeff from uh, the Flow Life, modified as well, original opening for uh, charger and power button, I did, I did, uh, I mean, not I did, I took it to welding shop, they welded, I, I, I drilled it new holes, custom uh, fancy power light, also status light over here, I like it, and uh, like I said, super flux, high torque uh, motor. And it's quite impressive. Now you're probably gonna ask me, how heavy that monster is? Because it is monster. <laughs> Especially with those extended rails, with WTF, with a uh, big uh, 11.5 tire. It's gonna, it's gonna get heavy. It's gonna get heavy, guys. But the way I build it, it's really impressive, like I said. 36 uh, cells on the back, 24 cells in the front, pretty much 12 S2P, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, 12 S3Ps 
on the back and 8S three piece on the front. It's a split pack. Yeah. Well, uh, my previous, my this, this board, it was around 40 pounds or I believe exactly 40 pounds. This board, it's at current stage, the way you see right now, with all belt and whistles, it's a 41.4 uh, pounds. If I'm going same build with uh, Hypercore motor, which is, uh, uh, I mean, XR, GT motor, GTS even motor, I mean, if we're talking about, I believe it, and they are the same weight. I'm talking about weight, not the winding, the magnets, I'm talking about weight. It's gonna be 36 pounds. And the best of all, because this configuration, it's a uh, 20S three piece, 60 cells. You also can uh, uh, build it instead for like myself, just need a torque and a 20 mile top speed, 25 mile top speed or so. But if you're really lunatic and you want to go for a high speed, you can make it 30S two piece. It's the it's same amount of cells, 60 cells. Can you imagine if you have a 30S two piece, 1084 watt, under your under your feet <laughs> how fast that board will go at 30s and for how how much range it will give you that's gonna be unbelievable guys well let me open it the front uh well i'm not gonna open it i'm not gonna disassemble the whole board but let me remove it a uh, bumper and i can show you the difference between uh, how battery pack looks compared to my first prototype. Okay guys, pretty much, I hope camera is gonna show you. I mean, if not, I can make it maybe a little bit more detailed video next time. It's a L-shape battery. Uh, controller, it's a Tronic 250R. And uh, the rear box, like I said, I didn't open because it's the same as uh, as this guy, yeah, and I mean, 36 cells. Here's a, uh, I mean, two piece configuration. Here's a three piece configuration, yeah, and uh, pretty much, yeah, it, it's this, this build, it was really tight. I mean, to put 60 cells in the XR frame without increasing the thickness, that's really challenge. That's really challenging, but I was able to do, I implemented a few more safety uh, things, also a crash guard as well, if you crash this board into wall or so, battery, which over here where the controller is, it doesn't, I mean it's open, but it will not move forward and crash at your controller and it's gonna catch it uh, fire because battery is shifting and breaking, breaking apart. Uh, there's a crash crash zone wall and it will it will uh, I mean hold it no problem actually yeah I mean I was gonna show you it's working pretty much guys <laughs> I'm really proud of that build and for 2000 bucks I'm talking about the parts itself labor it was my own time but mostly parts if you buying this right now uh, I mean uh, what what need to be built it, it will cost you around two thousand dollars. Yeah, which is really impressive what you can build it compared to what you can buy it. Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.